Shopify. Hello, my shopsies. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh, first things first, thank you so much, A Cat Named Zephyr, for the raid. I always appreciate it when you guys send your communities over to me. I hope Dungeons & Dragons was fun. I don't know if you're still here, but uh, if you had to raid and run, then that's totally fine. Um, but I hope you had a good time. It seems like it was a, a fun time. I mean... You, you raid it out, and I know I don't raid when I'm in a super bad mood. So, uh, <laughs> I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, and thank you so much again for the raid. I'm sorry I was AFK. I didn't see it because I was prepping, because I do, like, last-minute stream prep during the 10-minute countdown before stream starts. So, I was like, I didn't see it. And I put my headphones in and I heard the tail end of um, my raid song. And I was like, oh, no, I missed them. Ah, fuck. Um, <clears throat> so for those who don't know me, hello, I am Lord Ramses. I'm your resident pharaoh back from the dead. I'm a variety streamer that does all sorts of wacky wild things. Um, I'm really tired, so I don't know what else to say. Usually I have like a little bit of a longer spiel, but I'm I'm so sleep g i don't <laughs> i don't know anymore um so let me see who else is here uh hello brioche good job the foxo is first. very tired yes. he is EP. EP. the foxo, the foxo has, has had a very long day of swiping eggies and wants to take just a small sleep he eb and neeby is to sleepy funk sleepy and need bed by time the fox is, the fox currently, is currently experiencing critical, critical levels, levels of being a sleepy little guy, guy and needs to go to bed. Needs to go to bed. He is very tired, is very and, tired needs and needs to sleep. Just a little sleeping, little sleeping time, time is a treat. Funks Yonksy needs, needs to sleep. Retired, retired boy, boy, just, a little, just a little guy. Just a little guy. Foxo Oxo 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 Thank you, chat Nubis. Uh, good job, Brioche, on getting first. Feeling sick today, so I'm going to say hi, and I hope you have fun. Oh, that's totally valid. I hope you feel better. You've been sick the last couple of days, so I do hope you, you feel better. I, too, am feeling kind of sick. Um, not, like, head sick or anything like I was before. I'm not, I'm not getting diseased again, thankfully. I swear. Um, at least, I hope so. Fingers crossed. Knocked on wood. Um, but it, it is rainy here. So I'm very sore. I'm cold and sore and bleh, but I'll feel better. I'm sure of it. Hello, Daydream. Good job on getting second. I hope you enjoy your lurk um, and have a good time with that. Feel free to pop in at any time. Uh, we are playing Yuminiki today. Um, we're going to hopefully finish the game today because we're at, uh, uh, I would say, around about... 70 65 percent of the way through the game um so yeah i have some concept art that i i missed that people were very kind to tell me that i missed um just a note though uh before we start i will be uh muting my mic periodically during the beginning of the stream because i'm being given food uh and the reason why i'm being given food is because i have my medicine right here because i'm in so much pain um and that'll allow me to take my medicine because i can't take my medicine on an empty stomach and i just woke up and was procrastinating getting up this morning i didn't want to wake up today i was very tired i i wanted to stay in bed i wanted to stay asleep but i had stream today and i really am devoted to finishing this game uh, I was going to do a live 2D stream, but I just, I wasn't feeling it today and I have to get my whole like, uh, subscription sorted out for that. So I was like, uh, I'll do it later. I'll come back to that. Um, I have the lantern effect, so now I can, um, we got, oh, there's, I believe concept art here. So we will go grab it. Up we go. I figured out where Closet Metatsuki was. Oh, yay! Nachos! Yeah, that's what I'm having for a snack. I'm having nachos for a snack. So, you might hear me mute my mic repetitively, because I have a ban against stream eating <laughs> for myself or people on mic. Um, because I don't want... Um, how did I miss that? Okay, I don't, I don't want people to get sick feeling all right how did i miss that 
I'm, I'm so mad. <laughs> I looked everywhere for that concept art. All right. Cross that off. Find a plant above the Tordian and Yen picnic. I'm just waiting on my tea and my coffee. And then I'm, I'm going to be solid, solid and set. Um... All right, I need to do 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 Um. Okay. Can I? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh. Let's see. What am I looking for here? Uh, I am Okay, so Uh, there's another one in here that I can't get to yet Because I don't have all the effects So we're gonna wake up That's not what I wanted can we, yeah, can we wake up? Wake up. Thank you. God, I forget the controls every time I play this game. All right. Um, let's go in through here, shall we? Oh God, because there are uh, some things I missed in this area. All right, and here's the eyeball part. Yippee! Yippee! Oh, I got overwhelmed by eyes, apparently. Thank you, Brioche, for the yippee. Uh, I hope you're vibing. We're running from eyeballs. Wish I had the mask of fear. Make this a whole lot easier. Nice. Concept art. Alright, where is my pencil? So I can cross that off. Um. I don't need to go to the end of this. I mean. I don't think I do. Um, actually, no, I do because I have to go to the bedroom area. That's a sewer. I wish I had the mask of fear. I 
would make my life so much easier. It got me. Damn it. God dibbly damn it. Are you slay to become eyeball? Are you slay today? I am not slay. I want to slay. I don't feel very slay today. Yay. Yeah. All right, there. I truly wish I had the mask of fear. Oh, yeah, that was my fault. I ran too far ahead. I got I got too excited. All right. Coffee? Wow. Alright, there. Oh god, not the eyeballs. Eh, shit, here we go again. Look at us go. And in there. Yay! Me too, buddy. Me too. Look at him. Just like devouring. All right, so we got the meat room. And now he will leave us a bee. Oh, nar. Yeah, oh, nar. Okay. All right. So in this area, there's a lot of shit I got to do. Um, and yes, you're not hallucinating. This is in fact, uh, something that was not here before. I don't remember what was here before. Um, but this was not here before. Uh, From entrance. There it is. Nice. Alright, so I got that one. Oh, shut up. Quiet.
Okay. Uh, yeah. I had a dream last night that I was a tiny child playing with some other little girl outside. Everything looked like colored pencils, but she kept pretending to throw bugs on me as a prank until she tried shoving a giant bed bug into my neck to suck my soul. Then everything disappeared and I couldn't find the bug and I worried it was in my clothes. That's all. That's creepy. I don't like that one. <laughs> um, yes, I do want the same TS yesterday. Also, that's cursed. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Serious ib moments. You woke up confused. That's totally valid. All right. Um, I can send you what type of tea it is. Um, I am also confused by what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a lot of weird shit right now. Um, but no, I'd wake up confused too. I don't like what's happening here. Although the music slaps. <laughs> is she over here? Yeah, she is. Oh God. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, can I, uh... I would like out. <laughs> I would like out. Hello, Grace. I'm being attacked. Um, I don't know what to do. What to do? I do. Do I? Do I? I dropped a thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now I need to the north and check a bed for the sparkle. Yeah, no. Not the way I need to go. Uh, <laughs> I'm presty. <laughs> yeah, I'm a presty now. Uh, I have nachos, and I have medicine, and I'm trying to escape this crazy girl who wants to play hide-and-seek, but apparently doesn't want to lose. Um, she's uh, a bit of a a sore loser. Uh, 
At least she moves slow. Oh, there's another path here. I didn't even notice. We're playing a nice uh, juggling game here of keeping her close enough to, uh, to levitate beds so I can see. <laughs> um, let's, let's try this way. Oh, I see. I'm over here. Oh, hello. Hey. She got confused. Okay. She got very confused there. She got she got a little too confused. Um Okay. <laughs> so I got that one. Um there's one more I need to get. what oh that's so cute <laughs> my my salt holder if you will all right so oh there's another way around okay cool Can you let me out of here? Thank you. Oh, well, there's that one. Now, here's the thing. I don't know how to get out of this area now. Um. So that's the next dilemma. I came in here looking for the concept art. I uh, am unsure what to do now. Um, I feel like there's a way to get out of this. But like, I don't know. Ooh, carrot cake. Eats faster. <laughs> Have your cake and eat it too, I guess. Um, yeah, there's not much I could have done there. <laughs> uh, So here's a question. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Huh. Wait. I am much faster than her. Am I supposed to find the bed that I need to, like, sleep in? Oh, there's a door there. I think it's this bed. But how do I get that to that door? Over there. Yes, Grizz. That totally helps. <laughs> Thank you, Grizz. Oh, I see. Okay. I saw that bed over here. Aha! Did 
now I can come around that way. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, I made it out of there. Fuck yeah. And I got all the concept art. How cool. All right, so I got some of the concept art. That was pretty neat. Um, still missing a jelly in this area, though. I bet it's the sewer. I'm also missing two concept arts in this area. I bet one's in the sewer and one I missed. I know I missed on the road. So I don't remember what the, the shadow man shows. <laughs> um, all right. So Okay. I don't want to go back to the alley because I feel like if I go back to the alley it's going to get boring because I'm just going to keep searching for that one. Um, so I don't need this page for right now. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't remember how to get to Block World. Let's go to... Um... the sewer and then the pink sea don't mind me trying to get these nachos unstuck See, I was trying to do something there. <laughs> I fucked up the first time. Might be. That should take me back, right? They shouldn't just, like, strand me there, right? No, it, it strands me there. Is there anything more? No. I just die. Cool. Well, take me back. Yeah, it does. Okay. Nice. Um. So I got that one. Eh. All right, now I can cross that off because I got the docks jellyfish and we need the jellyfish. We do, in fact, need the jellyfish. Um, all right, let's go to the pink sea then. Oh, wait. Um, I don't want to go this way to the pink sea. I don't like going this way. I should go to the wilderness and then get on the train, which will take me to the pink sea. What? Yeah. You didn't know about that? You didn't know about the leisure device? Bouncy Tubby? Yeah, Bouncy Tubby's there. Bouncy Tubby's the thing. He's very cute.
I want you all to know that I am currently uh, playing one-handed as I scarf down these nachos like a fucking wolf. Anyway, that's all. I just wanted you to know. Um, figured you'd all uh, appreciate it. Um, where is the wilderness? That's the sewer. That's my room. That's the street. There it is. Cool. I know. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm doing all right. I am currently eating while streaming so I can take my medicine. Uh, so that's why my mic is currently on mute. Uh, because I don't want anyone to uh, hear me chew in. Because nobody likes that. Um, so yeah, I hope you're doing well. Feel free to let me know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, thank you for stopping by. Oh, we're playing you, Maneki. So, yeah. I have now eaten my nachos, and now I am clear to drink my medicine. Um, because I couldn't drink my medicine on an empty stomach. And now the commentary may begin. 
30 minutes into the stream and I'm finally being the thing I am best, a commentator. Uh <laughs> oh no. I'm watching someone put Farina in their teapot. Oh no. Oh no, the drama queen. <laughs> All right. Mm, the weekend. The weekend is always the best, in my opinion. It is not quite yet the weekend for me. Like, it's Friday, but, like, I don't classify Friday as a weekend. Only Saturday and Sunday, maybe, weekends. I also want to go back to Panico, because <clears throat> I want to get the Mask of Fear. It'll make my life so much easier. Um, I found out where this concept art is, by the way, that I missed. It's over here, and I didn't know this was a thing. Yay! Okay. Pink C is a done. Um, I now have that situated. Currently, I'm just trying to get the concept art. Um, cause yeah. Uh, and the jellyfish. Although, getting some events would be great. The next part we're going to is the mall, because I need to do the mannequin room. <laughs> also, I have coffee. It is, in fact, pumpkin. Mm. Pumpkin coffee slaps so hard. I'd give my left kidney for, for pumpkin coffee, I swear. You hear that, black market traders? All you gotta do is bribe me with like a lifetime supply of pumpkin spice coffee and I'll give you whatever you want. Although my organs aren't pretty good, so maybe not. For legal reasons, this is a joke. Ah uh, yes, the mannequin room sounds delightful. It is so delightful, especially now that we have the lamp. Now that we have the lamp, they can't do fucking shit to me. All right. This this, this balloon ride is, is very slow. Uh, I'm sorry about that. We're just, we're just uh, lazily moving along here. Just kinda floating about. I do hope that we can uh, play the original Yuma Nikki soon, because that game is so good. One day. One day, I, w I wish it was on uh, Switch. Although, that would be, like, uh, outside a Ghastly Gala game. Or, like, it would take up all of Ghastly Gala. Because it's such a long game. With so many, like, random events. Everyone's playthrough of Yuma Nikki is going to be different because uh, it's just and I don't mean that in like the traditional game sense. I mean that in like two people could see two completely different things. And then also it depends on the version update you're doing too. what events you get. So like you could download an older version of Yuma Nikki and still get like events that people have never seen before. It It's crazy. It's crazy. Radiates a lot of, like, every copy of Mario 64 is personalized. Every copy of Yuma Nikki is personalized, I swear. It's crazy. I love it, though. It's such a good game. And up. <clears throat> Look at us go. Can you imagine having a dream like this, though? Another game I should play is LSD Dream Emulator. I think that's going to be cool. That would be really cool, because that, that game is freaky. Uh, 
Okay, and we're down. Um. Although it's interesting that this is what Ponico's out exterior home looks like. All things considered. I love this music so much. <clears throat> if you were flying off a balloon in a dream, would you be excited to fly or freak out because you're literally hanging by a thread over the sea? Um, I think it depends on the sea. I think if it was the pink sea, I wouldn't have minded because it's the pink sea and it looks so welcoming and inviting and dead. Um, but if it was literally, oh, there we go. That was fast. Let me stab you. Ah, uh, nah, it didn't work. Okay. Is there another way to get that mask? I thought it was stab Uboa, but apparently not. Um, apparently it was not stab Uboa. Um, okay. Oh, my mobile device is in here. Let me see how you get this item then. Oh, do, 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 do. We'll go back to, we'll go to the mannequin room next regardless, but I want to see how you get this. Um, here. Yes, I am treating because this game is very unintuitive. Love this game, but like I could not get through it without a walkthrough. What? But like, I don't, I've never been to Uboa's trapper. How do you get into that area then? What? Wait a fucking second. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, God damn it. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I should have seen that coming. Um, I do. Okay. I'm going to be honest. Uboa is such an underappreciated enemy. Like, listen. Okay. Listen here. Um, literally the, the predecessor to the designs of many characters and it's a damn shame because a lot of people in the modern day do not know that uboa's design is from yume nikki and it's such a damn shame it makes me so upset every time i see like i don't know let's just take for example fan art of gaster from undertale i just think Wow, that design is 100% inspired by Uboa, and I know it's inspired by Uboa, and you want to know how I know? It's because if you play uh, Toby Fox's fan game for, um, for, uh, what's it called? Earthbound, you can see Gaster in that game. Gaster's in the, not Gaster, um... Uboa in that game. Like, literally the sprite work for Uboa is used in that game. <laughs> and I'm like, god damn. So the, you, there's no, there's definitely a correlation between the two. And it makes me frustrated because people don't know about Uboa. And I'm like, no, this is literally amazing, amazing 
jump scare. Like that's how you do a jump scare, right? People is the Ubola jump scare in the original Yumaniki. That shit was freaky as fuck. It definitely um, inoculized me against many modern jump scares. <laughs> Especially the ones in this game, like I, the Uboa one from the original Yumaniki is definitely uh, uh, a, a, a key factor in my flavor of horror. Um, so this is the mannequin room. You cannot do shit to me. As long as I have this, y'all are unable to do anything. I could play this section, genuinely. Oh god, I hate I hate this. I don't like this area. Why would I play this section genuinely when I could cheese it? You know? You know what I mean? Um, I say what? I say what? What do I say? What do I, am I saying? About Uboa? I say that, but what am I, what am I saying? Ah! You can't touch me? They can't. Wow. As long as I have this out, they can't do shit. Oh, but I can't fall. Yeah. <laughs> I can almost fall. Oh, God damn it. I pressed the B button. <laughs> God, it's the Torian and get all over again. <laughs> you guys remember the docks? Well, how? Oh, oh, yeah. She whips out the lantern so slowly. I got the rhythm. Ah, you are unable. <laughs> oh, come on. That just shouldn't have counted. That shouldn't have counted. Illegal. That should not have have counted. This is taking me way too long. Uh, I'm apparently not a pro Yumaniki player. Oh, not the umbrella. Fucking me up. Alright. I do think the mannequins are pretty. I need her to come over. Thank you. Yeah, now you can't do shit. <laughs> I've escaped. Uh, 
It used to be indecisive, but <laughs> shut, sh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyway, I love the laughing fox. I sometimes I laugh just like that, and it's a problem. <clears throat> All right, up. Oh. You can't do shit to me anymore, you little bitch. Anyway, yeah, among these boxes, up. Um, so, <clears throat> left side among the boxes. Oh, I see it. There we go. I found you. Concept art unlocked. Yay, we did it. We got the mannequin concept art. Wow, what are y'all saying? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I am. I'm sure about that. Stretch, I can stretch. And a posture check. Whoa, we're double whammying. And eat salt. Oh, tr th three for three. <laughs> you, gonna, you gonna throw in a hydrate? Let's find out. Will there be a hydrate? No hydrate. All right, but all right, eat salt. Posture check and a stretch. <clears throat> so we can get a good pop in there for y'all. <sighs> oh, what? Oh my god, that's a lot of tea. <laughs> Is it? He's <laughs> <laughs> got so much water. <laughs> He's got a double cup. <laughs> Chat Nubis is setting. Oh, hydrate! Yeah, hydrate. Alright, hydrate. She's got gay baby jail. Do you know where the tissues went? I would love a tissue right now. I need to blow my nose. A tissue sounds amazing. Thank you. I'm gonna mute real quick. All right, I have blown my nose. Oh God, not the puffer fish. <laughs> not the puffer fish. Anything but the puffer fish. Okay. I don't know why sound alerts is lagging. It's a problem. Stop doing that. Is there, wait, hold up. Did something open on my computer that wasn't supposed to be open? Oh, I see. No wonder there's some lag. My Razer Synapse stuff opened. There. Things should run a little more smoothly. If you're experiencing lag on the stream, uh, it should be chill now. Um, Alright, so... Ah! So, in this area, I might die a couple times. I might die a lot of times, actually. This this next area, I might die quite a bit. Um, so, I'm sorry if you were expecting pro gameplay. Um, you will not get pro gameplay here. You will get me dying. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You will get me 
dying a lot. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... Uh... Uh... Although, let me see. How does one get to Black World? Oh, it's through the sewers. Ew, I've been needing to get to Black World. Okay. Anyway, um, small delay, but no light. Yeah, there, there's a five second delay. Um, I, that that's just my standard. I I always have a delay here, uh, of some sort. I have it set up in case there is an emergency or in case something happens, like my face shows up because then I have five seconds to just completely take down stream 100% discard the delay, which will allow me to um, completely destroy basically those last five seconds without risking my health and safety. Um, so, yeah. So, the thing about the area I'm in is that I'm going to 100% die here. Um, this does not look like it has a floor. Oh! I fell. Oh. Rooftop key. Oh, cool. Is there anything else in this area? Uh, let me check. Anything else? Anything else? I just want to make sure. I, I don't want to... <laughs> I hear you rustling. Um, I picnic street sewer snow world. Yeah, snow world's in this game because of course it is. It's like iconic. I always start with snow world in the original game. I love it. Uh, I think I think I'd be thinking we are good. Oh, we're here now. God damn it! I gotta do all of that all over again. Fucking hell. Fuck me in the ass! I had to do this all over again. All right, come on over. Oh, it's already down. Cool, well, I'll just wait for the lights to go off and then hop on up. Not the super. <laughs> What? <laughs> My closed caption said what? Dump stream. <laughs> yeah, just dump stream. I just, uh, just dumped the stream. Oh, no. There's some pretty mannequins, though. And to the bed.
Yep. Very good that was gonna happen. The room is getting more and more messy as we as we go on here. Icky. I remember when this game, not this one, but the original New Miniki was released and everybody was like, oh, it's so disturbing. It's the most disturbing game ever. And I mean, yeah, it is. But like, I don't know. Nowadays, there's so many more disturbing -er games. More disturbing. Disturbing -er -er -er. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna go back to the mall. Because then we can do the mall rooftop thingy. Who is selling NFTs? Uh, everyone's selling NFTs now. Yeah, the, the mannequins are pretty, pretty, pretty dangerous. They're pretty bad. I don't know what's up, why everybody is selling NFTs. Can we not, please? Can we please stop selling NFTs? They're not even, like, nice looking. That door was locked originally. Oh, I have all the eggs? <gasps> oh, shit. I have all the eggs. Or most of them. Other than the sewer egg, which apparently doesn't count. You can't get an egg from the sewer. The true horror NFTs. Yeah, facts. Hello, Doomsday. Hope you're doing well. I could... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, hey, hand sculpted miniatures are, are pretty, pretty cool. Although it depends on the, the quality for 40k. Huh? What? Oh, is it? I don't know. I'm not paying attention. I'm not paying enough attention here. Rooftop key. All right, now we can come through here and there's a cat. Let me really quickly get the jellyfish and then I get to show you guys the uh, cat event. <clears throat> jellyfish. I like this music. All right. Mysterious cartridge. Are you going to do anything else? No. No witch event? God damn. I am upset, but we can jam out for a second. What do you guys think of this music? I get to, I get to throw away this piece of paper. I like this music. I think it's a bop. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jamming out. Uh, while I cross off the mall on here. Alright, so now I'm missing, I believe, only one jellyfish. In the sewer. I feel like I am missing two, because I don't know where... Um... Yeah, jam out. <laughs> I don't know where the one from the street is. Like, I... So I feel like I'm missing two. Hell yeah. <laughs> I just make this my, like, um... My ending soon song. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. <laughs> I'll come back here for the end of stream, I promise. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Let's get the fuck up. Uh, what? 
pinch. We pinch ourselves. You guys ever pinch yourselves in your sleep? I've done it. No, don't lay back down. I wanted to say, oh, well. Oh, well. Well, it auto saves when you lay down, thankfully, but. Hold the fuck up. What's the whole, what are we holding the fuck up in? What is being held the fuck up? You're the fuck up? No, you're not. You're perfect, Grizz. I will beat you up. Yeah, I'm missing a jellyfish. From all of the areas. Uh, no, I have a jellyfish in all of the areas except the street and the sewers. I don't have an egg for the sewers. But I can get into the final door now, which doesn't feel quite right, um, but okay. <laughs> Love you too, bestie. <laughs> um, I don't feel right. Uh, okay, so this page is now just final area, so I could put that over there, because we're not going to the final area yet. Yet. I need to go to the block world first. I wait, I can wait. I can finish this game without going to the block world? Really? Why? Oh, I guess I have the effects. So the sewers are just like completely optional is what I'm getting from this. No, we're not going to the final area. Fuck that shit. Um Wake up multiple times in a dream. Oh, I hate when that happens. That's happened to me a couple times, and it always trips me out. Because then for, like, the whole day afterwards, when you genuinely wake up, you're, like, questioning whether or not you were actually awake. And it's so awful. I hate it so much. It makes me viscerally angry. Also, you guys remember how in the bro the broken school I was looking for um, closet Matatsuki? I love this song so much. It's so pretty. Uh, you guys remember how I was looking for closet Matatsuki? Well, I figured out where she was. <laughs> and I did not want that. And so we are going to go see her. I have to go to the broken school, though. Um, I don't like that sound. That's that's very wet sound. I don't like how wet that sounds. I don't like how wet that sound sounds. All right, so we need to go to the lantern room, which you all might remember from the last time. Um, You want to know a good way? Okay, here's a fun trick that I learned from learning how to fully, like, trigger lucid dreams on my own. Um, look at the clock. If you are ever questioning whether you are awake and want to know, look at the clock. Because the numbers will not display properly on the clock if you're asleep. Like, they just won't happen. They, they won't display properly. They'll tend to be jumbled or unrecognizable or say a time that cannot feasibly exist. And that'll help you decide whether or not you're awake. That's the trick I use nowadays, is I look at the clock. Especially if it's like a digital clock and not an analog clock. Ah, fucking hell. <laughs> Falls again. Right, here we go. Yeah, concept art. And then here is Closet Matatsuki. Although now she's in a. A. Uh, I don't want to say a closet because that's not really a closet. That's a. Um, more of like a. 
Uh, not a closet, though. It's too short to be a closet. I mean, I guess it could be in some places, but... That seems more like a... Uh... Huh. I guess that was our washer. Um... More of, like, not a drawer, but... A digital clock. Look at a digital clock. A closet for goblins. Yeah, it's a closet for goblins. So tiny. So itty bitty. Um, for gnomes. Uh, but no, look at if you are asleep and you want to know if you're awake or asleep. Like maybe you've woken up multiple times uh, in your dream and you haven't been awake. Just look at a clock. Look at a digital clock. Not an analog or uh, manual clock. An analog clock is basically like um, an older style clock. One that's partially digital, but not quite. Because um, what you're looking for is something that's uh, more techy. Because your brain can't register the... The... Uh techie style of, of digital clocks like the numbers it won't display the numbers whereas if it's a like a handed clock like a uh, manual clock or a uh, analog clock where the numbers flip um that's a lot easier for your brains to just manually generate something for it but if it's a digital alarm clock because of how many facets there are to a digital alarm clock it's a lot harder for your brain to generate what a digital alarm clock looks like properly uh what wait what's the red it's the red the red i don't remember what you're referencing <laughs> it's like i wake up check the time stuff happens then wake up again check phone with a different time and it happens like oh yeah your phone clock will work too if you check your phone clock and the clock doesn't, the time doesn't display properly on your phone screen, that's also, that works too. Um, until I realize this is the right time I'm supposed to wake up, so it's real. Ah, yes, that's, that's a good. The weakness of the flesh persists, I see. You should turn. <laughs> the right, yeah, we're in the broken school. Yeah, we're going back to Kyokun. To the guy that's like stroking the railing. Yeah, the creepy sounds. Railing guy! He's not here. Wait, was he... Is he further ahead? He was right here, wasn't he? No, maybe he was, he was further ahead. Yippee! Why are you yipping the guy that was stroking the railing? <laughs> Grizz, I have concerns. <laughs> I don't like the sound. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Get some help. Get some help. I don't like the sound you're making. Go get some help. Go go seek therapy. Get out of here. Oh. What? <laughs> Grizz. 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 <laughs> no, don't nut to Kyukun. Stop it. <laughs> I don't... I don't like it here. I don't... <laughs> I don't like it here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, big oof. I don't like how... The... The rubbing of the railing... It sounds so similar to the pufferfish. No, he is not! No, he is not! <laughs> Oh man, Grizz, if you knew what I knew, if you knew what I knew about the theories surrounding this game, do you because remember there was the girl that was sitting on the stairs next to him. That's all. 
that's all. It's it, it, the theory surrounding Cocoon is is unfortunate. If those theories weren't there, then I'd I'd feel differently about Cocoon. But I, I don't like Cocoon. Like, oh, yeah, he's happy for a very specific reason. <laughs> Big smile. He is. He also does have long cat energy, though. Like, look at how long he is. Like, he's very long. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna go back over to my sources, because I don't know if it's gonna play face again. And photosensitivity warning. But if it's too photosensitive, in my opinion, I'm going to... Turn off the rip saw. Are you gonna play face again? Yeah, okay. They slowed it down. Alright, that's enough of that. You guys got to see it, so... Gonna hide it. Till it passes, but you guys got to see what face looked like, so... Right. There we go. Um, I didn't want to give anybody any anything. It was slow enough to where it wasn't even giving me really a headache. I mean, it kind of a small one. I felt a twinge behind my eyes, but other than that, like I was fine. But I know there are a lot more sensitive people than me, so. <clears throat> oh yeah, now the jellyfish is on here. My washer's doing the thing again. Okay. So I've got that now. Um. Alright. So... All right, now here's a question for you all. Do you want to see me go back to Uboa and try to get the Mask of Fear? Or do you guys want to see me go to the Block World, like somewhere new? Do you want to see me revisit an old place to try and fully complete it? Or do you want to see me uh, go somewhere completely new? New or old? New or old? Tis the question. Chattanoobas, what do you want to do? N new or old? Do I want to go back to Ubawa or do I want to go to Block World? The Mask of Fear. Okay, you want me to go back to Ubawa? Then go to the New World? Okay. Well, no, the it would really only make it easier to get through the sewer and to get through the street again to try and figure out where the jellyfish is. That's about it. Because it kills the, the beam guys, the guys that turn at you and they light the road up. Yeah, it just, it just kills people. It's basically a more enhanced version of the knife. New place? Yep. Block world? Also, is is Leon making broccoli? Can you check? Please? You know why. Broccoli smells so funk to me when it's uncooked. Let me know. I need to know if somebody like shit on the floor or if it's just broccoli. <laughs> Not that anyone would shit on the floor, but you know, we have cats. They're a little unruly. Sometimes they throw tantrums. Um, you need to find the sewer right there. Um, Chat Nubis. 
chat is is chat nubis the one that you're oh my god <laughs> i love how close captions spell chat nubis's name it's so funny each time huh <laughs> i know it's so stupid <laughs> every time and oh uboa oh whoa <laughs> It's spelled U-B-O-A. Uboa. <laughs> it is spelled very funk in here because it's Japanese. It's not English. So my closed captions are like having a heart attack every time I say Uboa. Um... <laughs> Spelled it like Ebola. No. <laughs> that's not. That's incorrect. <laughs> that is not right. <laughs> huh? I am positive that it's not. Okay. Block world. Okay. No hat and scarf for me. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. Huh. Oh, no. I fucks. I fucks up. Let's go back to Ebola. <laughs> Let's not do that. Oh god. Oh, there she is. Okay. The crap. Yeah. There's a porta potty. Um Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Having the umbrella makes this a lot easier. Yeah. Haha. -ha. I found you. No. I know where the exit is. Give me your hat and scarf. Stop. Stop it. Where does this take me? Oh, it just moves me over here. Oh! What is this? Oh, it shows me where she is. Okay, cool. That does not help any, though. Oh, there she is. Okay, how do I get over there, though? Um... How do I reach that that level, though? Uh... Lateral. Okay. Yeah, this is not how you're supposed to do this. <laughs> okay. Um I need a porta potty. Come here, porta potty. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Whoa, come back up. All right, I got I got an idea. The porta potty would surely help, but it is completely optional. Um yeah, look at that. Okay. The umbrella 
makes this super easy. I love this for me. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Anyway. Guardians of the Galaxy reference aside. All right. We're, we're moving up in the world slowly. Oh, is that, what is that? Tea? Here, I'll put that there because I'm almost done my coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mmm, coffee. Mmm, calf. Was it broccoli? Okay. So I am, in fact, smelling broccoli, not like rotting flesh. Got it. I don't know! I don't know! That's the problem. I smell terrible things in this house sometimes. It, like, it smells like something's died in our walls sometimes, and I don't know what it is. It, like, drives me insane. And I don't know if I'm just going crazy. <laughs> crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. Rats made me crazy. <laughs> crazy? I was crazy once. Locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. The rats made me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. How about what? <laughs> Damn, I almost got that. Fuck. I gotta do that all over again. Look what you made me do. Oh shit. Yeah, you. Yeah, your fault. I, bitch, I will fight you. <laughs> Alright. I dislocate every bone in my body. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds about like something I would do. Oh. Alright. Oh. 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 oh god. Huh. Manager Leon dropping whatever they dropped spooked me and I almost fell. Up. Oh. And then up. Oh. All right, <laughs> I heard that. That was good. Was it good? What the the me saying crazy? The chat delay is impressive. Oh, it didn't register. What didn't register? What didn't register? Hellfire. Did something happen? I didn't see. The chat delay is not too bad today, actually. Again, it's only five seconds, or it should be only five seconds. If it's anything more, it's a you delay. I'm sorry. Okay. I found you. No, stop running from me. I know where the exit is. God. Oh, it's three of six. I got to find you a, a fourth time. God damn it. Okay. If I was a girl in a hat and a scarf, where would I be? Let's go in the porta body. I love how much of this game is meant to be meant to be symbolic of the trans journey, and I am all here for it. That did nothing for me. You're in the plaza? Uh, I'm too stupid to know what that means. <laughs> How are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you all are doing well. I have no brain cell today. What? 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 I know! It's the porta potty! It changes to, it changes perspective. If you are paying attention, you would have seen me go in, hate the perspective that it ended up changing it to, and then went back through it. 
yeah that's one of the many symbols of uh Natatsuki's journey about uh sexuality and gender identity because there's a lot of them like a lot of them a lot of them like a lot of this can be interpreted through the lens of like a young girl going through puberty and figuring out about herself um and questioning her gender identity and sexuality and uh stuff like that because that's what you do at that age <laughs> As much as people would like to say that's not what you do, that's exactly what you do. That's the whole point of, of puberty, is <laughs> figuring that shit out. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I like it. It makes me happy. My fan went off. Let me just fix that real quick. It got unplugged. So let me just fix it. It suddenly got quiet, and I didn't like it. Why'd you do that? Go in. All right. I am back. All right. So, um, I want to get up to that bed. Can I land on the porta potty? Yeah, I can. I love that everything's a platform in this game. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think that the porta potty was meant to be symbolic of questioning one's gender identity and looking through the different perspectives that both a, a mask person and a femme person have. Because it changed what you go through the porta potty and you see on the outside it has a a woman's sign or a man sign, right? And when you go through the pure porta potty, it switches to the other sign. But also, your full perspective changes. And it's really cool. Um, and there's a lot of imagery like that. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> How would I find you? I guess... Oh, I guess she's in one of those. I could make a dissertation about the the symbolism in this game because there's a lot of it. Okay. And it's beautiful too, like Although I will say, in Japan, maybe porta potties are associated with puberty. Because, you know, there's a lot of them <laughs> in the region that are really clean. Public restrooms are very common uh, and nice to use in Japan. So that's kind of one of the things that a lot of people say they like about Japan is that public restrooms and public places are always kept really, really sanitary. So... Um, why am I suddenly not grappling up these areas here? I should make a video essay on Yuma Nikki. I, I really should. And kind of the messaging behind it. <clears throat> Because when, when this game first came out, nobody thought about those things. Like, the fact that the game could be a commentary on, like, growing up. Not just on, like, a traumatized young girl. But on growing up and about what that looks like and how scary that is. To get older and to feel everything changing and feeling like you have to suddenly be someone. You have to pick some one thing to be. You have to formulate a personality that is solid. You have to start, like, coming up with moral leanings and ideologies for yourself. You have to start kind of, like, becoming an adult, essentially. And that's scary. That's terrifying. Um, a lot of adults don't, like, really think about how terrifying that was when they were a kid. And even though they're like, no, I wasn't really scared. Like, if you look back, you could probably see how it's, it's intimidating to be 
an adult. It's just frightening, you know? I think she was in the third one. Yeah. It's scary to not know who you are and to realize that you don't know who you are while all of your friends are, you know, starting to figure themselves out. And it's scary. And then on top of that, like, those friends I just mentioned, they're changing too. And they might not be the people whom you've known your whole life or whom you've been friends with your whole life. They could change too in an instant. And that, that also is frightening. Because you don't know who you're going to see in the end. You know? Where is that? <clears throat> Aha! I will find where she is, don't worry. Aha! No! Save me! Fuck. <laughs> I, I found where she was, though. I, I figured out where she was. I just now have to, to get there. Aha! I found you! Alright. Last time! I have a feeling I know where, she, where she's gonna go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like she's gonna be in one of those little openings over there. No. Where is that? She's hanging above a void. She's hanging out. Let's see where this takes me. Maybe maybe it'll show me where she is. Oh, there she is. Aha, look at my good eyes. I am outstanding. Oh, uh, I thought she was gonna pull out her umbrella. No, Batsuki! <laughs> Wrong, incorrect. 
over here. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Yeah! Now give me the hat and scarf. Where does this go? Where is this one gonna take me? Oh, Snow World. Cool. Oh, I have to go back there. Damn. God damn it. Okay. So here, there is <clears throat> a thing in the snow world. I gotta find. Hold on. It might take me a second. This is incorrect. This is not what I need to look at. Block world. Which I now have to go back to! It's Snow World. So the thing about Snow World is that it just sort of loops endlessly. So we gotta go east first. And then we need to go north. And then northeast. Then north. And then northeast. Ah, there it is. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at that. Aren't I amazing? I did that first try. Look at that. Look at that, my pro humaniki skills. Fuck yeah. Look at that. All right. Now we just got to wander around until we find the igloo. Oh, this may take us a minute. Um, do I have a walkthrough on how to get to hat and scarf no i do not so how we doing out there tonight yeah yeah chat nubis but you do. You should check laundry. Oh, you're at that part of the quest. Okay. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, uh, it's it's break time. That's what time it is for me. All right. So I'll I'll get the hat and scarf, and then we'll take a break, and then we'll come back to Block World. Um, but I gotta get the hat and scarf first. Eventually, we have to find this place, right? Whole monkey on a typewriter thing. You know what I mean? Although I do love the music for this area of the game. I do think it's quite pretty. Oh 
I used to be so good at navigating the snow world. Like, all of my friends would get stuck on the snow world and they'd be like, have you tried this thing? And it usually worked. <laughs> um, because it was pretty foolproof. <laughs> it was pretty good. Uh, I was very happy about it. Hmm. That's a lot of trees. That's so many trees. Um. And no igloo in sight. I actually don't even know if that's what I'm looking for here. I could be looking for something completely different and I'd have no clue. <laughs> oh, my neck hurts. Excuse me. Big yawn. I'm also cold. I'm very chilly. I'm very chilly. Chewy with her farewell. Oh, woo. <laughs> what? You did you said oh no. Oh, you hit my mic. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> you said oh no. Yeah, because you're not allowed. What to say ooh woo? I'll probably not look at you again. <laughs> Why not, chat newbish? Why not? Why not? You deserve it. Uh, I found a rock. Mr. Map. Mr. Map. I don't have a map. I wish I had a map. That would make my life so much easier. But there is no map for this game. It's the map. Now I'm on the rock. This is a very poorly textured rock. This rock is very low poly. You can tell this game was made on a shoestring, which I mean, I mean, it makes sense. The original Yubaniki was too, but. <laughs> huh. Oh, it'll be fast. We'll get the hat and, and scarf ability, and then we'll call a break. Circa Ramsey's five minutes ago. And we're still wandering around. You can ooh, see, Chris says I can ooh woo if I wanna. Whoa, you're going against the mighty Grizabella? Okay, ooh woo. Maybe you'll you'll kill faster if I ooh woo now. Ooh woo? <laughs> oh my gosh. Where is it? Uh... All the pros just like, oh my god, this guy's stupid. I am. I am. I'm stupid and I'm proud. What? What? I know, it's I'm ugly and I'm proud, which I am as well.
Christ on a trike. <laughs> Sudden banging from the kitchen. I could make like a compilation of banging from the kitchen. <laughs> it's a lot of banging. I'm, I'm just gonna look up what I'm supposed to do. Uh, where I'm supposed to go. The directions. Because I'm back at the beginning again. At least I think it's the beginning. Okay. Um... <laughs> I will back chat Nubus on the no ubu if he gives me an ada ada. What? <laughs> you gotta lean in close to the mic and go, ada ada. <laughs> go on. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I should make it a point redeem. God, Chad, you just ada ada. <laughs> I'll just make I'll just record you going ada ada and then um I'll make it a sound alert <laughs> because it's funnier that way. Also, you're getting your ass kicked in this domain. Well, you're also using Linny and for uh, and uh Farina, which is an interesting combination. They both they both uh, like drain health, and that's a dangerous thing to have on one team. <laughs> Oh, is she? Is she healer now? Is she healer for Rena? Oh, she, the weakling. <laughs> anyway, so you're gonna give us an Ada Ada? <laughs> wow, scared of the Ada Ada. I see, I see. You're just a scaredy cat. You're not even a scaredy pup, you're a scaredy cat. Go on. Go on. Oh, it's beneath you. Well, then I guess you're just a scaredy cat. Okay, well, how, how exactly do I maneuver to get you? You would lean up close to my mic and you would go, ha da ha da. So? Oh, no, it would probably sound fine because you're not even using that part of your throat. Ada, you gotta go one to ten. How much of how much is this? Chris, how much is how much is going into this Ada Ada? How much horny on main do you want in this Ada Ada? It's exactly what I was thinking. How much horn on main do we want in this Ada Ada? Okay. I'm about to just redo this. Hold on. <clears throat> uh, oh. Oh. Hello? Yay! She came to me. She said, I'm sorry, you're lost. Oh, how sweet of her. Anyways, Ada Ada. Uh, how about I give an answer for Grizz, like an eight? <laughs> Yo, I'm a very mod person. Uh, and? Thank you for me. <laughs> Come on, just pretend there's not a bunch of viewers watching. How many people are watching right now? Um, that many. <laughs> <laughs> For legal reasons, I will not disclose uh, which uh, account I. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Right before break, it'll be a perfect pre-break. Hello, this is your roaring. If you don't want to be auto, you better get. You better like turn down the volume for like five. Like give it a couple seconds, okay? Um, if you're Grizz, um, keep yourself safe. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, I didn't expect to get this far. Uh, Grizz even still there? Oh, I mean, I mean, I can't do it if Grizz isn't there. Grizz, Grizz you there. gotta. Just flip it and send it to Grizz. Hmm. 
Let me blow my nose. <laughs> we are blowing the nose. Oh! <laughs> All right, you ready? As ready as I can be. There, there. <laughs> Shoot myself in the foot. Congratulations, this is my 13th reason. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> You've been on a on a. Chris is like, let's go! <laughs> Alright. Oh, damn, bro! <laughs> Incredible. Outstanding. Magnificent! <laughs> Alright. So, with all that, we're gonna go take a quick little break. <laughs> God damn it. We're on an ad break. That's okay. Uh, we're going to take a quick little break. We'll be back in about uh, 10 to 20 minutes. I think 20. I don't need a 20 minute break. Yeah. And I'll see you guys back here in just a little bit. Oh, big stretch. Go get something to eat. Go get something to drink. Go chill out. Go get a blanket. We're going to keep playing after this. Oh, I popped my fingies. Oh, okay. We're going to keep playing after this. Um, I got a lot to do. We need to go back to the wilderness to get the concept art there. We missed a concept art on the street. There's a concept art in the sewer. I missed a concept art in the block world. There's a couple things I want to do in the snow world because I missed some things. I never actually got to the igloo. She came for me instead because I got really lost. Um, then there's a... a uh, jellyfish in the sewers i need to check where the jellyfish is in on the street because i swear there's there's a there's a jellyfish there uh and then we will go through the final area and we will also additionally um do the secret ending and hopefully by the end of the stream we will be done yuminiki uh so with all that being said keep yourself safe we will be back in just a little bit
now we are back hello everybody um welcome back to the stream i'm in a bit of a sour mood um but i'm okay i'll be fine uh let's see hello hope welcome welcome to the stream good job on getting third uh no you want a tarot reading i can do that on general life let's see um We'll do a general life situation spread. Uh, the same one that I've been giving most people when they just say general life. Um, and it'll be basically about the future, uh, what'll come in the future, stuff like that. This card on the left will be um, just curious. Fair enough. Card on the left will be reflective of the past situation that is currently re-emerging in your life right now. Uh, card in the center will be your current situation and how life is feeling right now. Um, third card will be the future and what to expect from it. Um, I, if you want, I can throw in a bonus card that's saying basically how you can make or break the situation if you are interested in that but we will see what it says in the first place because it might not even be talking about like a bad thing or a good thing um just assume that if you like the future you keep doing the same thing that you're doing if you don't like the future i could give you advice on how to change it um because the future is never set in stone <clears throat> so let's see here clear my head You guys can't see it on the model because I don't have eye tracking on my model, but my eyes were closed there. All right. Oh, no. Is the sound alerts going to play? No, your channel wasn't. <laughs> no, it's too long. Today, when I walked into my economics class, I saw something I dread every time I close my eyes. Someone had brought their new gaming laptop to class. The forklift he used to bring it was still running idle at the back. I started sweating as I sat down and gazed over at the 700-pound beast that was his laptop. He had already reinforced his desk with steel support beams and was in the process of finding an outlet for a power cable thickener. Thicker than Amy Schumer's thigh. I start shaking. I keep telling myself, oh god, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Cursed. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> All right. So I am using the Mystical Manga Tarot deck. If you haven't seen it, it's very pretty. Um, and let's see what we got here. So for the past, we have the Devil in Reverse. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> okay. So the Devil is the past situation that is cur currently coming to play now. A lot of people assume that the devil means, like, bad things because they assume the devil as in, like, the Christian devil, but that's not actually what it is. Um, the devil essentially means uh, habits and whatnot. The tarot card description reads, something is holding the situation the people involved captive. The devil is all about about being bound to unhealthy or inauthentic things, behaviors, or people that keep you in bondage. Whatever is going on is not in your best interests interest and is, in fact, contrary to the desires of your heart and your soul's purpose. This is the devil in reversed. So if reversed, essentially, it is the card is asking you, what behaviors am I allowed to control me? Uh, am I allowing to control me? And what benefit do I think I'm getting from these habits or behaviors? So the devil in reverse being in your past means that you lived a past usually... Uh, full of, I would say, like, of kind of, um, not addiction per se, but just of want. Uh, it was a past of want, a desire to keep up with unhealthy habits, uh, whether they be unhealthy habits related to mental health, unhealthy habits related to relationships. Maybe you had an unhealthy person in your life, um, and you still have them in your life, maybe. But regardless, there's something unhealthy in your past that you might have left behind or you might have not, but it's starting to come back and become the uh, the sort of uh, 
focal point for what is coming up or what is going on now. Um, and that's kind of what I'm seeing from the past year. Uh, the present card is, oh no, <laughs> every time. This is the Nine of Swords in reverse. Anytime I see a Swords card, I am not happy. Uh, <laughs> swords is the um, suit of emotion. It is definitely uh, can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Every time I get Swords for anything, I get worried. So <clears throat> this is your present. Uh, the divin divinatory meaning of the Nine of Swords is um, the dreaded thought monsters that eat away at the night, st stealing sweet and badly needed sleep. Whether these thoughts keep you from falling asleep or wake you up at 3 a.m., they eat the stronger they get and the weaker you feel. The con they conflate every regret, every mistake, and every slight until the smallest act or thoughtless word threatens to consume you. If reversed, it means isolation, long-term insomnia, over-reliance on sleeping aids. Um... So what this is telling me is that there's an intense trauma. It doesn't necessarily need to be sleep, but rest, usually. Um, so the present time means the present time card seems to represent that there is something that is effectively making you lose sleep, lose rest, lose the ability to um, kind of find solace in your modern day life. Um, Maybe it could be sleep. Maybe you are really tired. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe um, it could be actual sleep or it could be emotional rest and recourse. But um, what I'm getting from is that the present is currently inflated, inf uh, inflated by the past. So it seems like some bad habit or some person that is a bad habit or something of that sort is coming back to bite you now and it's causing you distress in your modern day um and is making you feel almost helpless and you're thinking on those thoughts you're thinking on uh what happened like those 3 a.m thoughts that you get where you're like god I, w I was a horrible person in that type of situation and then oh the last one is the, the Nine of Cups. begins to shake as the massive oh, fans no. begin to spin. In mere seconds, oh. my world has gone oh, from no. vibrant life to a dark, earth-shattering void where my body that is, is getting torn apart by the 150 <laughs> miles per hour gale force winds and the 500 decibel groan of the cooling fans. As my body finally surrenders, I out. weep <laughs> as my school and my city go under. I hate gaming laptops. Why does this sound like something that would have been on no sleep? Anyway, <laughs> back to the tarot reading. Thank you, Hope. Very cursed. I appreciate it. Um, so the uh, next card, the one for your future, is the Nine of Cups in reversed. Uh, I see hope in this. Uh, the, the cup suit is also a suit of emotion, but it's usually more positive emotion, whereas swords is traumatic and painful emotion. So in the old days, this was called the wish card. If it turned up in your reading, it meant that the, your wish would come true. Today, we don't go in so much for wishes being granted, preferring instead to earn our blessings through hard work. The truth probably lies in the middle ground. You've made some good choices and the results are very pleasing to you. From this moment, at least, you feel like life is pretty darn good. Um, but in reverse, it could mean overindulgence, selfishness, dissatisfaction, and regret. So what I am seeing from this whole thing is that... Currently, in your present day, you are kind of haunted a little bit by the past. You are haunted by a past that is very much of bad habits and of bad choices, of trauma and regret and pain. Um, and that is reflected in the devil card. The devil card means trauma and pain. It means uh, addiction a lot of the times it means that something is holding you down and it could be a person there could be a literal devil in your life or it could mean that it could be yourself you are the devil in your own life you're the your own saboteur 
And so in the modern day, you are thinking about it a lot and you are musing over it. You are having those be your 3 a.m. thoughts and essentially letting them consume you in all in all. However, in the future, it seems like there's two possibilities here because you have the wish card. And I feel like this could either go very well or very poorly, depending on how you choose to make your next steps. You could either settle back into the overindulgent habits of your past, or you could hope for a brighter future and eventually become a healthier and happier person by the end of it. It all is up to what you want to do and who you want to be. Um, but tread carefully because the future might have something that you're not ready for. Um, but I think if you do your best, you stay true to yourself and you reanalyze and recontextualize what you want from life and what you need from life, you could very well come out of it better than you were before and with the skies turning bright. However, I feel like if you don't do that and you keep running away and musing on these problems as if it's one big monster instead of what it is, something that needs to be confronted, um, you'll probably regress back into those old habits, into the overindulgence and the neglect of your mental health. Um, but what do I know? I'm just I'm just a witch on the internet. <laughs> I hope that was helpful. Uh, I know it's a very bleak card drawing. This deck tends to be very bleak because it likes to call out people. Um, so if that called you out, I'm, I apologize. I hope it didn't uh, because I don't like hearing about sad spreads, but sometimes it happens and life isn't always perfect. So sometimes things get sad and bad things happen and we just kind of have to roll with it. I think you'll be fine, but you know, it is what it is. It's scary. So I do hope that helped. No. Anyway, we're uh, playing Yuminiki. <laughs> we are playing Yuminiki. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. I will hydrate now. <laughs> um, did I miss any other appointment names? Uh, tarot reading. Third. I think I said good job on getting third hope. You'd be pufferfish, hydrate, eat salt, posture check, stretch. I mean, Vox, read a message. Nope. I got it all. You feel that, Grizz? <laughs> I can give you, Grizz, you don't even have to spend points. Just message me after stream and I'll give you any tarot reading you want. <laughs> I give friends tarot readings. Um, I don't like to take money for tarot readings. Fun fact. I just don't like to. Um, I might start opening a tarot reading service because a lot of people have expressed it uh for off stream for strangers but obviously more complex spreads but um i don't like to take money for divination i like doing it because it's fun and i enjoy doing it and it helps me um get better at reading the cards uh the more i use them the closer i get with my deck and the healthier that relationship becomes because when you're learning how to read tarot you are building a relationship with your deck. Uh, it was just nice to see your cards bully someone else. My cards are mean. My manga cards are so mean. <laughs> and they bully me too. I've done readings with for myself with my cards. And I'm like, wow, I hate it here. <laughs> oh, that is ominous. I can see what it means. Guess I'm getting called out, but it's mostly bad habits. So don't worry. I hope that if it... I'm assuming that means that the cards were on on point. Um, what I like about tarot is that tarot is not meant to be this like all knowing force. They're not um, something where you are, you know, essentially reading a future that can't be changed. They're not like all powerful. Really what the cards do is um, they're supposed to give you... Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, roommate pulled me to the side. It was Chattanoobis wanted to tell me something, but that's okay. Um... 
They tell you what you need to hear. Yes, to figure shit out. Exactly. That's the point. Uh, what tarot cards do is they essentially tell you um, what is going on, you know? They essentially give you the opportunity to... Um, to uh, analyze your situation. Th those are the words I was looking for. I was lagging. Because let's say, for example, that you feel like something's wrong. Because humans innately know when something's not right, you know? They innately know when something feels wrong. And so when they know that something feels wrong, they investigate they figure out what it is that is causing them those emotions and when they do that and when they um investigate that it gives them the opportunity to kind of come to terms with the situation subconsciously so like even let's just say a lot of people are like oh the cards are so vague that you could just read anything from them kind of like how zodiacs do and that's the point that's the whole point. The point is to be able to assign meaning to the cards because they are vague enough to do so, which then enables you to solve for yourself. Now that means that other people could do the same thing because there are meaning to the cards. Like each card does have their own meaning. It definitely takes years to get used to reading tarot. You know what I mean? But that doesn't mean that like, obviously the cards know all if you believe in that stuff yeah and i'm one of those people that does believe because i'm a pagan that's kind of part of my my shtick but if you aren't somebody who believes in that stuff that's fine uh but you can you can admit that like it's kind of like the blot test you know where you're interpreting meaning extrapolating meanings from something that otherwise has no meaning and that could be very helpful to analyze your situation. But yeah, they they tell you what you need to hear and definitely do because you are putting meaning to it, you know? Okay, so we got the Black World concept art. I am home! Greetings! I am winning, actually. I got the Black World concept art, which is very exciting. I am winning! All right. Hello there. We're talking about tarot and how effective it is. I will do a, a video essay on tarot and why it works eventually. Oh my goodness. Hello there. Gotta head out for dinner. Totally valid. Enjoy your dinner. You're going somewhere? You're going on you're going on a date. Enjoy your dinner. Hope you like it. I need to test something real quick. Hold on. Don't mind me. I'm just... I'm seeing if my headphone died. Uh... <laughs> Why can't I hear that right now? Hold on. It's doing the shit again. It's doing the thing again. It was working a second ago. Ugh. Okay. The foxo is very there. tired. He is eepy. The foxo nice. has had a very long day of swiping eggies and wants to take just a small yeah, sleep. Yeah, okay. Listen. He eeby and eebies to, to sleepy. Funk sleepy Funk and need bed by time. time. The fox is the currently, experiencing currently experiencing critical, critical levels, levels of being a sleepy little, little guy and needs, to go, needs to, bed. to go to bed. He is very tired, is very tired and needs to sleep. Just a little sleeping time is a treat. Funk's Yonksy Funk needs to sleep. Required boyo. Just a little guy. Foxo oxo omps needs his beady sleep. Look at him go. He yawned big because he's skeegee. Neebs to falafel a sleepy. Nine-eye time. 
Good night, Mr. Uh, but no, you're right. The amount of essays I need to write for the stream. Yeah, I have a list of them. I have a list of them. When I go back to writing video essays on YouTube. Um, like I have a whole listicle of them. Um, okay, so... We are... Where are we going? So, we got that. So, now I can... In the south section, in the center of the pool, since we're already in the sewer, I might as well grab this. We're gonna move forever. Um... Okay, so... Oh, but how do I... Okay. Wrong way. So, um... I do have a lot of essays that I, I... I need a reading soon, home dog. I'll have to DM you about it and stuff. Just saying, because thinking of it, I suck at tarot. Yeah, sure. Feel free to DM me. Also, if anybody wants to learn tarot, let me know. Maybe that's another thing I'll put on my... My to-do list. I do also plan on making how-tos for a lot of stuff. Because a lot of people are like, Oh, Ramses, you explain this thing in a very nice way that's a lot easier for me to understand than traditional sources. And I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> Guess I just am good at that. I don't know, because I guess I interpret things in a very unique way. Um, and people like that, because it helps them remember and helps them understand complex topics that are otherwise described in a way that's overly complicated <laughs> and don't need to be, because things, as long as you know the base and core ideas, you don't need to overcomplicate jack shit. Every <laughs> you just don't need to do it. <laughs> So yeah, um, so in this pool, It's somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. That's not the pool center. The fuck? Oh my goodness. Um, I should also probably write down those essays so I don't forget. Uh, let me grab my clipboard. Hold on. Clippy board. Give me one second. Oh. Come here. Okay. It is now all done. I have written I have written it down. I'll workshop ideas because I, I workshop like project ideas uh on a piece of paper. One piece of paper, and then I cross them off as time goes on. Cause I have a lot of like leftover pieces of paper from when I was in school. I tend to prefer digital documents, but like when I'm in the very early brainstorming phase, I find it helpful to write the ideas down as opposed to typing them out. It gives me more, um, 
base thoughts and let overwhelms me less. Oh yes, chat Nubus, since you are currently walking, please message in chat to tell me you're okay. <laughs> Cause it is not light out. And you are not home. <laughs> um Okay. So we got through that. We did the sewer part. Um and then the final area, the street where the shadow man shows up, and the maze after the picnic. So let's do the maze and then we will check. Okay, good. For the stickers, great. Uh, we will get that, I guess, tomorrow. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'll wake up early before stream and we'll we'll go get it. Yeah, our town is dumb for context. Very stupid. Very stupid town. All right, so now we're in here. You know what I can probably do? I could probably go through this, right? This will take me to the docks. I can go through this, right? And then I can go through the docks to go get the Uboa mask. And that's where I'll end the dream. Is that getting the Uboa mask? No, I wish we were. Dude, I love stickers. <laughs> I love stickers. When I get my PC, my, my, my very special PC, I plan on putting stickers on it. Instead of getting like a cute case, I'm just going to put stickers on it because I'm a nerd. I like stickers. I'm autistic. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm um, so hat and scarf and umbrella go down. Not that down. So it's down. Honorary Grizz, that'd be cool. I, I would love to make stickers. So, down. And then left. And then down right. And that should take us. Yeah. All right. So I need hat and scarf. Umbrella. And that'll make it snow, which will freeze the lake. I can now cross that out. Hell yeah. Oh no. No, get that pencil off of there. I got pencil on my fucking laptop. Shit. No! No! Alright. Let's just got it off. Um. Hmm. I see why. It's it's a basically a pencil rubbing that I accidentally did on my computer. <laughs> um Oh, yeah, the tissue box. Perfect. Fuck. 
No! Pencil! Ah! Shh! Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's happening. There is no chaos. You do not see the bodies in the water. We're all... Fuck. We're all... Fuck. We're all good. <laughs> Nothing is wrong. Don't even ask such a silly... Why would you think something's wrong? Okay, there. Uh, stay up. Please. 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 Sir. Okay. <laughs> uh, that won't work. All right, here, I'll put it there. I'll put it, I'll put it in my lap. There. <laughs> um. Okay. Be safe. If you see anybody suspicious, do something. You have mace, so spray them in the face, I guess. All right. Um, okay. So let's go back. Oh, that was a glitch. That was a graphical glitch. So, we'll go to the docks. Yeah. God, I love that song so much. It's so good. All right. So now we can go to the docks and get the mask of fear, which will make the street easier. Oh, yeah. That's fair. I guess the bus just left you then. A little bit before. Alright. Okay, now we're at the docks. Alright, so now we're here. Okay, so that did nothing. Oh, although now it's snowing. A little bit. Oh, shit. Oh, the umbrella. It fucks me up every time. I even tried to be early. Thought it was 7, 12. No, apparently not then. Ah, it'd be that way sometimes. All right.
Hey, hey. And we are good now. Now we're coming back here through the woods, through the thicket. I love how scuffed this game is. I'm okay. What is your guys' opinion on scuffed games? I don't care so long as they play well and there's nothing game breaking. Like, sure, when I run across this game and go into like the snowy world, it looks a little, uh, looks a little rough because, well, you know, that. Uh, watching something render in real time just looks rough. Um, but like, otherwise, I think, I think it's good. The zomboy just scuffed in this one. Valid. <laughs> I don't mind scuff. I think scuff looks fine. I think scuff is cool. I think scuff is chill. I don't really care so long as the game plays well, is my opinion. Mm-hmm. Genshin, for example, has a lot of scuff, especially on PS4. Because apparently all game devs think that it's okay to just abandon pre-gen consoles. If you're gonna port your game to a pre-gen console, you have to optimize it for that console. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tough opinion, but get off your asses and optimize it for the fucking console. God damn. I think there's very few games that do it, like Stray does it very well. Stray optimizes very well for PS4, and I like that. Genjin does to agree do it to a degree because well it's also very big so I understand that it's very intense on the hardware um but like otherwise there are some other games where I'm like why why'd you even bother why'd you even bother so it's a good game it's a good game I recommend it it's really fucked up um but it's so cute it will make you cry I didn't cry, but I did get really sad. Actually, I don't remember if I cried. You can go see that live stream. It was before my debut, for anyone curious. All right. <laughs> I love how long this this takes. I cried at Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> Valid, though. I still can't get over the Wizards of the Coast thing. I was talking about that yesterday on stream with the Pinkertons. Fuck. That was so funny. If you don't know about the what happened with Wizards of the Coast, you should you should learn about what happened there. That was really funny, though. I tried Dutch. I really try. <laughs> Never forget Genshin Impact. New Life Fidget Spinner Mobile Strat. Oh my god. No, so if you don't know, uh, New Valet in Genshin Impact, he fires a giant laser when you play with him. Because he's all charge attack. You don't hit with anything else. It's just charge attack. New Valet's entire play strat is just charge attack because what happens is you E skill with him and he drops like the water. And then you pick it up and then his charge attack is done. And then you burst with him and he drops some more water. You charge attack and he's done. Uh, give him extra buffs with putting one hydro on the team and then like two cryos. Don't even have to use them. They just kind of sit there to buff his stats and that's about it. And then 
What you do is you attach a fidget spinner to the back of your mobile device because of gyro aiming. And then you start charging attack attacking with Nuvale because Nuvale will just auto keep going. Like you don't have to hold the charge attack button. And then you just spin it. When he starts charging attack, when he starts actually firing, you spin your device as fast as humanly possible. And he will just mock 20, just spin around in a circle and kill everything. It is the funniest fucking thing. It is so good. <laughs> it is the best way to play him. Uh, I don't, you can't do it on PlayStation, but that's like how you 12 star spiral abyss with just new valet is that way. You don't even have to put the extra hydro and the two extra cryos. I just like doing that. Um, but yeah, if you get the chance to get Nuvalet, do it, because you won't need another character ever in your life. <laughs> Unless you're fighting all Hydro enemies, you won't need another character ever in your life. Nuvalet is insane. <laughs> but if you are fi fighting just Hydro enemies, uh, get Nahida, because she will she will do what Nuvalet does for everything else. It's so incredible. <laughs> but then again, just play who you want to play. Uh, but... Nuvale is, is kind of overpowered. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> Farina is also scary. Farina is also kind of terrifying as a support, so. Genshin runs on my iPad. Granted, when I'm not screen sharing, it runs fine. It's decently optimized. We have the quick menu and I play on a faraway server and have very few issues. My iPad has an aux port. It's a tad old. Dude, aux ports are great. More thing. Can we bring back aux ports? Stop it. Bluetooth headphones are the bane of my existence. Can we bring back aux ports? Please and thank you. All right. We're back here. Noelle is amazing. I do love Noelle. Let me know your favorite Genshin characters, please. My favorites are... Uh, Sino, I really like Baijiu and Zhongli. I love Venti, and I love Nuvole. Risley, though, is also nice, but I like him more for his, uh, assets. There we go. There we go. Beto is mommy. Oh, God. Hey, how does this make you guys feel? How does this make you all feel? You guys like this one? You guys like this area? Uh, come back here. You little bitch, come back here. You little whore. Come back. I'm not scared of no ghost. Mask of fear. Nice. If you were all okay, but Beto, C6, Beto's great. He need Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Facts. Okay, but C6 Beto is great. That's that's awesome that you rolled a Beto dude. I really want Charlotte because I don't have her yet. I have literally everyone else on the banner right now at C6 except for Rena and Charlotte. I don't even have C C0 for Rena. I I need for Rena. Um. Missing a concept art here. Oh, I know where to get that. That's a Ubola's concept art. Okay. Nice. And that's in the final area. Okay. 
So... Let's go back to the sewer. Hmm. Pancakes. Pepto-Bismol pancakes. <laughs> we, uh, yes, please add Farina to my Pokedex. Hopefully we can get Charlotte at the same time. I need both of them. I have yet to find a character to spend all my saved primos on. Like, I'll get some characters that are interesting, but still have a stash saved. That's totally fair. <clears throat> I'm just excited for for a potential rerun of Sino. That, that, that's what I'm excited for. Because then I can... Because he's rerunning in second half, I believe. And I want R5. <laughs> Staff of Scarlet's Lance. I'm a Sino simp. I'm a simp no. So, a simp no main. Uh, so, I'm, I'm excited to get that. Uh, where is it? Where is the sewer? That's the docks. The sewer. So I need to get the jellyfish. 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 Jelly jellyfish. You want that? Good luck, thank you! <laughs> Good soup. I don't know if you guys have seen my Sino. I haven't played Genshin on here for a hot minute. I don't know if you guys have seen how crazy my Sino is, but right now I'm I'm planning on I really want Farina because I'm planning on uh put, replacing my Shinsho for Farina to keep up the Hydro app application for uh, him so he can trigger Hyper Blooms, and then I'm planning on replacing I think Raiden with Fish. I think is what I'm gonna do. How do I put on the Mask of Fear? Is it R? Yeah. I murder them all. They're just dead. I killed them. They're dead. Sorry, guys. This is so overpowered, though. Don't ask me how I know, but Pepto-Bismol is at the perfect consistency that if you pour it out onto a hot plate, it will make pancakes with no extra ingredients needed. But I don't think that would taste very good, though. Now I just want all of them dead. Yeah. They have all been murdered! Okay. Okay. So, I don't think I need any of these anymore. I think all of that is done now. Um, this is the sewers. Yep. I don't need that anymore throwing this all away yeah. okay so now i am just missing a concept art in the street uh where the shadow man was dotty is a raccoon i think dotty is a raccoon dotty is raccoon confirmed your government assigned kin is raccoon where did I come from? Where did I go? Can I get out of here? I don't know where I came from. Oh, there we go. Okay. Is this the street? 
No, that's Black World. Which makes my shadow look like absolutely terrifying. This is, I think, the wilderness. The barracks. Yeah, that's the barracks. The government, yeah, the government assigns everyone a kin. Duh. Grizz, you're Mothkin. I'm Foxkin. You know, like everybody gets a cover. I don't make the rules. The furry fandom does. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that. But like, I'm not wrong either. <laughs> Oh god, that's why I get wet, get food poisoning all the time. I just eat things and don't think about the taste. I I, I haven't I haven't figured out what your government assigned kin is, Gabrioche. Uh chat Nubis, yours is obviously a rabbit. Your government assigned rabbit kin. No, I didn't mean to go that way. Why is there an eyeball here? There usually isn't an eyeball there. Um... I don't remember which area the Shadow Man came in on. I just realized the eyes run away from me when I have this equipped. Okay, hold on. Um... Where is this? Uh, because I'm not fully sure. I do want to go back to the snow world, by the way. Um... Uh, where is this concept art for the street? Hmm. Oh, there it is. 
found it! Nice. Okay. So I'm not going through that again. <laughs> I don't feel like it. I don't feel like going through that again. Okay. So. Let's see what we have and what we don't. Uh, capybaras are amazing. Moth or capybara? Okay, you're you're a moth. Oh, you give me moth vibes. Um, you do have ankle biter vibes, brioche. This is true. Ever since I was feeding the cats, and I said, "Have you ever been hungry enough that you like the smell of cat food?" Honestly, cat food doesn't smell bad. I wouldn't recommend eating it though. Not very good for you. Although if you buy good cat food, it's edible, but it's not very good for you. I wish I could be fed food in soft kibble form. It would make eating a lot easier. Like with all my vitamins and nutrients in it. It'd make life so much easier. It'd make everything so much easier. Oh, good stretch. Okay. And we're back. Uh, let me check the dream diary. See what else we, we need. All right. What pages am I missing? I should only be missing like two or three. Maybe four. Okay, right. that's the first one. Okay, so um, so this person starts on this page. That's pretty good. Okay, and that's good. I am missing one thing, but like, it's not, it's optional. So I'm not gonna bother with it. Um. Um. Let me check. Okay. I have them. And I have them. Nine. Ten. Okay. So I am missing that one, but that's intentional. Okay. And then it goes to... Uh, this one. Which... That side is good, I think. The people looking at the stars, the three three flowers, that, the stairs, the eyeball, the weird creature, the hair monster, the tornion picnic, umbrella, the people in the town, the jellyfish, the three people on the bench, and the train. Okay. Got them. Uh, got them. Um, and then this one, where is that in my diary? Is that at the beginning? No. Yeah. Okay. There. Uh, no, not that one here. Okay. I feel like this one's missing a lot. Oh, it's missing the jellyfish. Okay. I knew there was a jellyfish on the fucking street. God damn it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Um Um So I need to I need to look for the jellyfish. There's a jellyfish I'm missing. Uh I got them. I got them. I got them. Uh 25 is in the final area. I got them. Okay. Then it's this one. Don't mind me. I I'm just I'm just checking. Checking around. Uh yep. Uh yep. Okay. That's all good. I have them. Um got them. 
and then there's these guys so this feels empty but it's it's not uh got them got them and then it's the school which is over here uh yep and yep I got them. I got them. And I got them. And then. Okay. So. I am missing a jellyfish. And that's about it. I just need to find one jellyfish. And then once I do that, I am good to go to the finale. Uh. Crunchy things have to be crunchy, soft things have to be soft. I have a have eating a thing that is crunchy and a bit soft, and vice versa. Yeah, I hate eating things like that too. It has to be one thing. Um, although I do like the soft crunch of of wafer cookies and stuff. That's fucking delicious. Would just be like breadsticks and marinara. I hope so. One am getting hell yeah. Uh, I would eat like life giving cake. Perfectly human. Yes, it is. That is true. <coughs> Excuse me. Meat. What is this then? It's food. Meat. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I ate a whole curry beef pie. I think it was butter chicken. Oh my god! How do you do that? <laughs> um, Pepto pancakes do not sound dope. The fuck. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, no, I, I, okay. I think if I had to pick a food texture, slimy is not it. I don't, I don't want it. I, I can eat anything that isn't slimy or like tastes like burnt. If it tastes like burnt, I can't handle it. Anything that tastes like absolute charcoal, I'm going to die before I eat that shit. It's marinara and breadsticks o'clock. No, if I, okay, if I was a pet, right? If I was an animal, I'd be so annoying because at 3 a.m. I'd scream. I'd be like my cats. I would take after a second. I would take after Apollo. I would cause problems on purpose, knowing full well they won't get rid of me. That's what I'd do. And if they do get rid of me, I will come back and I will haunt them. I will become the horror movie antagonist. <clears throat> Alright. Enter the door from the Nexus and then go left. <clears throat> really? Is that all I have to do? Just enter the door and then go left? Oh! I feel cheated. It's just there? Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Richard? Oh my god, I'm pissed. <laughs> it's just there? What the hell? <laughs> how, did, how did I miss that? Now I'm angry. Now I'm the big angry. <laughs> it was just there. It wasn't doing anything. It was just sitting there. Menacingly. Watching as the shit went down. Not reveal. I didn't even know that there was a left. The fuck? I am pissed. Okay. We're gonna wake up and then go back to sleep. <laughs> but, um, we did get everything. We got every jellyfish. Um, so now we just need to get all the concept art. And then after that, we are done the game. And we do the final, of course. <clears throat> I keep coughing. I'm so sorry, everybody. Yep, so now all we're missing is the concept art. Hell yeah. Alright. I do... I do want to show you guys one thing before we go. Before we go and do the finale. Because I've got an hour and a half to kill. I've got time. <laughs> so before we do the finale of this game. I want to show you guys something. 
I want to show you guys something in the snow world. Um, I want to be a little purse dog and be covered in emeralds and comfy cute clothes. I am the Beverly Hills Chihuahua, some gay person's purse dog. Worship me and take me to get a puppuccino. Give me a snack. I have so many Instagram followers and I live in a big mansion. Can you imagine? That would be amazing. Yo, yeah, well, I, I would I would crave that lifestyle, but also I, I need to be stimulated. So I feel like I'd be the most annoying fucking dog ever. Uh, yeah. So we're going to Block World. And there's a reason why. I want to show you guys something. I want to show you some guys some really cool things, actually. I think it's this one. Or is this one the barracks? No, I think it's actually one down. I think that one's the barracks. Turns out this one's the barracks and I cry. <clears throat> hey y'all, I was right. Okay. So we come through. I'm gonna be the cat owned by an elderly woman. I'm actually wrecked. <laughs> Can you imagine? All right, so now we're here. Okay, so here's igloo number one, Dirt. which takes us to Ponyko. So that'll take us to the pink sea. And then there should be a And over here, no. Because the other beds are up there. So I think it's actually... Because here's the igloo. Do you guys hear that? Well, now I don't know where the other bed is, but that's not the point. The point is, I can do this if it lets me. Oh, here, let me see if it'll let me. Look! I'm a snowman! <laughs> I'm a little snowman! <laughs> I love it so much. I'm a little I'm a little snowy guy. I'm a little snowman. I just I just become a snowman. <laughs> I put on the hat and scarf and I become a little snowman. I <laughs> it makes me so happy. <laughs> That's what I really wanted to show you guys before the ending. I was like, I have time. I have time to show you guys. I'm trying to get a front facing shot. Become snowman. Yeah. <laughs> Reject modernity. Return to snowman. <laughs> I love it so much. Anyway. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I am a dork. I'm such a dork. I'm such a nerd. Okay. <laughs> Ready for the ending? Okay. <laughs> Let's save, get to the ending, and then, um... <laughs> we will finish. Actually, I do want to show you guys the games. Because there's, there's some interesting stuff with the games um, that I think you guys will like. 
Did it did it get out of snowman to me? No, it didn't. How dare it? I think the snowman's important. The fact you could become a snowman. I think that's very important. All right. Okay. So before we do the final, the finale, I want to show you something. Or the two finales, because there's two of them. Here's the first one. <laughs> Look at how cute this is! It's in the old style! <laughs> and this adorable! Oh god, he's huge. Thoughts on this, everybody? <laughs> this is what a fever dream feels like. This is a reference to the old, uh, cat event in the previous Yumaniki. This is the actual, like, same sprites, too, and everything. skills I have. Oh, there are probably people who got such high scores on this. Anyway. <laughs> I felt the need to tell you about that. The other game that I want to show you is for anyone who is a fan of indie horror and has been playing indie horror for a while, you'll recognize this game immediately. Um. So... Um, it's straight up Aoni. <laughs> uh, it's so stupid. Uh, how do I? I don't fully know. Yeah, it, it is just Al Oni. It is literally just Al Oni. I don't remember how the first stage goes, though. No. Bitch. Oh, there's nothing I can do about that one. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is, it's just Aloni. Um, there's nothing else here. It, there's nothing special. 
if you beat it on Steam, and uh, you get an achievement, like if you beat the first level of Al Oni. I love that it's all pixel art. That that gets me. I don't plan on beating this. I'm not really trying. Um, so yeah, lighter. Hello. It's just, it's just a silly little game, you know what I mean? If you guys remember this game, then... You'll know what kind of game it is. It's just a silly little, it's just a silly little recreation, that's all. It's so goofy. I... <laughs> this entire thing is just silly. Wow. <laughs> I uh I don't want to play stage 2. I just I just wanted to beat stage 1. Anyway, um <laughs> it's very si silly it it'll just keep doing that so <laughs> i was like i don't feel like playing this anymore but i wanted to show you guys that because i thought you guys would think it was silly and it was goofy so let's see jellyfish and egg jellyfish and egg jellyfish egg jellyfish egg jellyfish egg jellyfish egg and then bedroom so we've uh gotten them all so it's time for the finale. Um, we are now in our bedroom. We can go back here if we want, but who wants to do that? Um, and we finally get to leave. We get to see what's outside. I hate the sound of this area. It's so loud. Let me make sure it's not too loud for you guys. Um, no, it's not. Okay. I'll keep... Oh, oh, okay. Um, Do I have my lantern? I do not. It does not give me the lantern. All right. Oh, there it is. Just gonna keep going. Uh, one of these has to be unlocked, right? There we go. Uh, 
Yeah, all is well. Yeah, don't miss the bus. That would suck ass. Um, concept art. Okay, well, we got that one. Um, and then there's another concept art that's like to the far right. Um, so we will go for that. And <clears throat> this one, I believe, was the Upola. No, this should be the dead man. I think this one's the dead man. All right. And then we will go to uh, the far right. I like that there are mushrooms in the hallway. Okay. Can I go in here? Wait. Will it let me? I don't know. Will it let me activate the alternate ending right now? I don't think it will. Okay, yes, do that, chat Nubus. <laughs> there is. Oh, right there. Yeah, concept art. Okay. I didn't mean to put on the mask. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry if I scared anyone. All right. Um, all right. In the room with the three Venus symbols. Cool. Okay. So. We now have two concept arts left. And the last one is in this final area up here. Um, I will warn, this is the most intense part of the game. Obviously, it's the finale. There is a chase scene. There is no jump scare, but there is a chase scene. So, if chase scenes intimidate you, uh, just know that there's about to be one. <clears throat> Maybe. That wasn't open a second ago. I think I just... Oh, I need to find the key. Um... Guess it was in here. I have to go into a vent. <clears throat> Rusty key. All right, cool. <clears throat> now you just let me in. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Here we are. And we run. As fast as we can. Oh. Oh. Let me. Oh. Oh. Well. Okay. <laughs> Whoopsie. Fucking hell. Okay. Down this way. Up. Oh. Ugh, there's nothing I can do. Come on. No. Let me. 
Let me through. Oh my god. <laughs> huh. Select. Let me out. I am selecting. Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't highlighting the rusty key. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Parkour, parkour. Right. Wow. We're not even gonna entertain this nonsense. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh fuck. We're not even gonna. Not even. Not even. All right. Ha! Hop on. Hop on to it. Let's go. Shouldn't it be snowing right now, by the way? I am not, I'm not one to hat and scarf does. I just like running around with the hat and scarf on. It's very cute. It's very cute, cute style. <sighs> okay. Can I make it? Come on. Am I free? We get one door and one door only. Do I have to do all that again? Cause I just realized. Oh, yeah. Her skirt is clipping badly. And that was that. I'm gonna go through the ending again to try and get the um, concept art there. Cause I did miss a concept art that I, <laughs> I need to get. That was my bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was the end of Yume Nikki Dream Diary. Um, I do like that in this version of the game, they actually do have the happy ending. Excuse me. That was supposed to be in the original game, but just wasn't because well, you know um it wasn't finished uh <clears throat> so it's very nice to be able to oh and the music uh such a good song i love the song it's so pretty um okay so I know where this one is now. I've, I've looked at it again. I was going to try and find it on my own, but I failed. So I do have 100% of the effects, 100% of the dreams. I'm just missing two collectibles and one of which actually is part of the hidden ending. So um, posture check. Thank you, Grizz. And my posture has been checked. I'm no longer shrimping. I will make that a thing, by the way. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll uh, commission Brioche to draw shrimp. <laughs> shrimp Ramses. 
<laughs> oh god. All right, so these are the concept arts that we picked up. Uh, they're over here. When I find them. There's the Uboa one. Very nice. Um, we picked up another one. Where is he? Oh, and then the one on the left is the other one we picked up. The dead man from the first stream um, that we ever did is there. So, yeah, we got them both. Excuse me. Okay. And up we go. Okay, so we'll go back to that old dream. Um, it is over here. And now I know what I need to do. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, and then we'll have to go through it one last time in order to get the super secret ending. Uh, we got like 30 minutes, 30, 40, 50 minutes. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. If I finish early. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe I'll just have a just chatting for the last handful of like third half, last half hour of stream. All right, just chat with you guys. Um, <clears throat> so we go straight into the elevator. Yes. Let me in. Do I have to interact with the Venus symbol? To just kind of tell the game that I don't have everything I need. I can't do the secret. Yeah, it is. Let's tell the game I cannot do the secret yet. Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Should have just waited there the first time then. Yeah, for future to reference, leave an hour early. You never know when the bus is going to come early. How much later is the bus? Yeah, it was an hour and I wanted to eat in a row. Hell yeah. Got the last concept art and there's the three Venus symbols. Can I do it now? Yeah, we're able to salvage this. Okay, I can show you guys the hidden ending. <laughs> and I got the last concept art. Oh. This is my favorite part of the game. We just got abducted. Masada! And then it's... No. No, it's...
No. Oh, I'm gonna get this. No. Right here. Let me... Oh, I can't go in there yet. <clears throat> if any of you don't know, he's playing the original Yume Nikki theme. He's playing the very original Yume Nikki theme, which is very nice. No. Uh, what is the notes? He, he anticipates this. This is for, like, specifically players who've played in the original, played the original game and recognized the song, but I don't know which notes it is. It's down, up, left. I will turn it up so you guys can hear it, I think. Because this, this is a very moving part of the game for anyone who's played the original. No. I did down up right. <laughs> Hold on. Because <laughs> I don't know my lefts and my rights. Oh, it's that one is down up right I'm assuming or no he, he gave it to me yeah that makes me happy Yeah! We did it! I missed the concept art, though, because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> um, So I'll run through that one more time. Because <laughs> I'm a stupid idiot, baby! <laughs> and I really want to show you guys what the concept art looks like. Um, That was my B. Um, a great song. Great song. Amazing song, even. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm curious. How many of you guys have played the very original Yuma Nikki who are here right now? I'm very curious to see how many of my, like, fellow players are here. All right, I gotta go through that again. Ugh, I forgot the concept art. I forgot the concept art like a dumbass. All right. All right, uh, get up. It feels nice to finish this. It's very cathartic. Although I'll probably will listen to the original Kiminiki soundtrack on loop after this stream. I wonder if it's on Spotify. Can someone tell me if the original Yumaniki soundtrack is on Spotify? I need to know. For anybody who has Spotify. Um All right, get up.
I love Masada-san. He's amazing. Also shortened to Masa-san. I, I love him. He's my favorite character. He was always my favorite character. That's, uh, no. No. There we go. I keep pressing umbrella like a dumbass. I'm gonna make sure I get those Venus symbols so I can go back there. Because you have to hit them twice to tell Masa-san to come to you. Alright, go back up. Go to the left. Spawn the demon guy. Run away. Yep. There he goes. Oh, I didn't even get hit once that time. Hell yeah. All right. Beat me up, Scotty. All right, cool. <laughs> up we go. This time I won't miss the concept art like a dumbass. Um, it sh should... Ah, there it is. Give. Yeah, there he is. There's our friend. Um... He's very happy about that. And... Anything over here? Nope. Now, in the original game, when you went to sleep on this bed, you would wake up and you would suddenly, like, see a bunch of flashing lights and stuff. Masa would be kind of low-key freaked out. And then you'd see you'd land on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> that was the original game. That's how it would play out there. Um, I'll show you guys when next Halloween comes around, because hopefully I'll have a PC by then. And um, yeah, I think that'll be kind of cool to show you guys. So there we go. That is the full scope of Yume Nikki. I will show you guys the finished Dream Diary before uh, I guess we'll switch to just chatting for like 30 minutes. Um if that's something you guys are interested in. If not, I could just raid out. It's up. It's up to you guys. Um, so while I pull up the finished stream diary, let me know what you guys would rather see. Would you guys rather me raid out right now and end stream? Or would you rather me uh, stretch? Big stretch. Posture check. Cool. All right. Stretch and posture check done. Or would you guys rather me just chat for a little bit? What are you guys thinking? Uh, here's the finished dream diary here. How am I feeling? I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. I might just end it. I don't know. Uh, is there anyone online? Let me see. Let, let that be the deciding factor. If y'all are into Scythe Soap. Is anyone online that I can raid into? Crow is live. I could raid into him again. Yeah, let's 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 raid into Crow, I think.
Yeah, we'll raid into Rikra. I think that's smart. My fellow small streamer. Okay, so here's everything in here. Oh, my CC stopped working. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. It must have just happened, too. Hold on. Test one, two. There we go. Turned it off and turned it back on again. All right. Um, so here's the first one. If anyone is curious about what the left side says, by the way, it reads quite literally, you may Nikki. It, it literally reads Dream Diary. Um, the first symbol on the top is you. Second one is me. Third one is ni. The little tiny one is a continuation of the next one. So like... That little tiny one, that little tiny, like, little curved symbol, that is, uh, su, but it's a, not su, su, uh, but it's a small su, and so it, it, it basically says put the consonant of the next symbol in there, and the last symbol at the bottom is ki, so that means that the small su would make, uh, a second k, so it's you me nikki. Um, and it's meant to, when there's two of the same consonant together, it's meant to be kind of like, you would tag the k onto the ni. So if you took away the key, it would still be you may nik. Uh, so it's you may nik key. So there you go. Anyway, uh, thought that was interesting. Thought you guys would like to know that. Uh, but that literally, you may means dream and nikki means diary or journal. Um, cause diary and journal are the same thing in, in Japanese. So yeah. Uh, to us, it would be dream diary because a dream diary is a thing or a, dr a dream journal is also a thing, but it's usually called a dream diary because a journal is like meant to be um, a log of events that actually happened. A diary is more of like a log of emotions, feelings and things that you think you've witnessed. So a journal is meant to be a more like logical, scientific thing, whereas a diary is meant to be more personal. So in this case, if it's a dream diary, because... Matatsuki isn't recording her dreams in a way that is um, scientific. So it'd be a dream diary, not a dream journal. Uh, if you're ever curious, that's the difference between a diary and a journal. No, a journal is not masculine. A journal is just a uh, more scientific or uh, logical way of cataloging events, usually with timestamps, uh, and is more faithful. Whereas a diary is something that you do at the end of the day that, or at the end of something to record how you perceive things, and it's less scientific. Um, so yeah, it's Yumei Nikki. Uh, there's the blood splatter from the very beginning of the game. We have the first stream that we experienced, which was the man on the road and the street. And then we have the concept art for the street dream. Uh, those are the guys that on the left are the guys with the beam eyes. I don't fully know where the guy on the right comes from. I think he is the guy we ended up stabbing in the road. And then you got the eyeballs and the hands, and then you've got the the guy that was eating the dead bodies in the um, in the uh, meat cellar. Which, by the way, can we just talk about that? Like, it's missing a head, but its mouth is on its stomach. That's a little uncomfortable. Um, then we have the uh, I I don't even know how to describe her. She's not even in the game, but I don't even know how to describe her. And then on the right, we see the that's another one that you can't really describe. Um, it's not very SFW, so I won't say it, but if you know, you know. If you're familiar with anatomy, you know what that's supposed to be. Uh, dead body, the guy that when we stabbed him on the road, he ended up turning into that. Uh, and then Matatsuki with the knife ability, Monoko, and then deformed Monoko. Um, then we have the second dream we went to, which was the block world, the mall, all that good stuff. Um, we got hat and scarf girl cat snowman matatsuki the hair monster from the i guess the barracks um then we have the mall dream in its entirety uh with the mannequins i love how matatsuki draws mannequins uh the music note guys um the liquid the uh i guess the blood bottle guy um got the music guys who were in the salon little blood guy the natatsuki as a whole the mannequin concept art uh, and then we got the third dream which was the barracks more uh the train 
um, and the wastelands as a whole with the sky pyramid. And then we got the townsfolk, uh, one of the guys on the train, another guy, uh, I don't remember where we saw him, but he looks familiar. Oh, he was on the rooftop. Okay. And then the three guys looking at the UFO. And then we have the pink sea dream with the Hamsa effect and then the docks and stuff. Cause that's the first time you're supposed to use the Hamsa effect. Um, we got the fisherman, the guy at the docks who you give the blood back to, which by the way, you never find enough yen coins to get the, the bottle of, of lemonade, like the can of lemonade. <laughs> Uh, the Torian again, the women in the forest, Poniko and Uboa. Uboa's concept art is creepy. I kind of love it. Um, then you have the school dream and all of that with Kukun, the zipper, the water droplet, uh, the broken photo. Um, then you got the ghost guy, the people that we gave the book to, the guy that we gave the triangle to, got the girl, got Matatsuki in the umbrella, Matatsuki with her eyes closed, Kyukun. And then over here is the ones that we just collected, which was the Shadow Man <coughs> and then Masada-san. And yeah, that's the whole diary. That's it. Yeah, yeah, Grizz, you're right. That is in fact what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's a little more than that. It's the whole, like, system. So, uh, but yeah, that is uh, exactly what it's supposed to be. <laughs> so, a little eerie, but yeah. With that, that is uh, Yume Nikki. So, thank you guys so much for coming to this playthrough. It was great being able to uh, run through the game. I, I think... Uh, that'll do it for today. I'll end at like half an hour early, I think. I will get tonight the archives up on YouTube. Um, they will post, obviously, in a week or so. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, we might do Doom. Uh, but I also might do a Live 2D stream. I still don't know if Live 2D will work very well on stream. But we will find out. We will see. Um, but yeah, I think that'll do it for us. Uh, I'll have to figure out what I want the layout to be. Uh, for the live 2d stream so uh with all that being said yeah <laughs> Chris, you're saying the quiet parts yes um with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching uh i mentioned a lot about tarot and about um like doing tarot services and doing um video essays so keep an eye on my twitter if you want a link to my twitter it's down below in all of my uh tabs and stuff so do keep an eye out for that. Um, although you could probably just find me using Crypt Ramses. I'm I'm pretty much on everywhere with that. Um, but you can find my link tree and all that stuff too, which will give you guidance on where to go to find more stuff about me and to see the fruits of my labor in terms of the potentially doing tarot readings for like I don't know like three bucks. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> there's people like buying tarot readings i personally want to do them for free but i know that if there's a demand there's a demand so i'll fill it and i can't i can't waste all that time doing tarot readings for free um i have to put some wall up uh gotta make a line a queue really but um besides that you can always get tarot readings via points if you really want it um but Otherwise, keep an eye out, see see what uh, becomes of those video essays, which I plan on making. I'll probably write some of them up. Um, what else? Anything else? Oh, I, I need to send you guys over to Recrow. That's right. I'm so spaced out. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed Yuma Nikki. It's a good game. It's a really fun game. Uh, please, please, please. I know if you watch me play it through completely, please play it yourself anyway. It's worth the play. It's worth the experience. Um, so yeah. Also, go f check out Recrow. Obviously, if you can't stay forever, that's fine. Um, but please go uh, check him out. I would really appreciate it. Um, but with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I am posting the raid message in the chat. So feel free to copy it. Um, but yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves and each other, my shopties. And I'll see you then. Senepsy.